What's going on YouTube? Bird here and in today's video we are going over the unique legendary power fist, the face breaker. But before we get into the video make sure you smash that like button with the Fault 76 can begin to see this and subscribe for more Fault 76 content. Let's get into it. Over in the mods this is unique legendary power fist, face breaker. Face breaker is obtainable through the mission a knight's penance which was added in in the still rain update also known as update 28 but you can also obtain the plan to craft one of these bad boys through the daily ops. So make sure you're grinding that out. But what makes this power fist unique is of course it's skin. This is not an atomic shop skin or anything. This is just how the weapon naturally comes, which is amazing. But this is a fierce power fist, which is damage increased after each consecutive hit on the same target, has a plus one to strength and also a 40% more power attack damage. So all those put together makes this a very devastating weapon. But over in the mods, we have two of them. We have the Punch Ring mod, which is the one I'm using, has armor piercing and superior damage, or Heating Coil, adds energy damage. I wouldn't recommend this, but you can also run it if you'd like. Then in the skins, you can throw on any skins if you have any. Currently, I have the Icebreaker paint from the last scoreboard, which looks awesome, but personally, I choose to run with the Facebreaker paint itself. But this is everything you need to know about the Facebreaker. Now let's get into the demonstrations. And the first place we're starting off our demonstrations is the White Springs Golf Club. And that is because there is a ton of squishy ghouls over here. And Paladin Romani did promote me as Knight Aaron, so it's my job to take care of them. But with that being said, before we get into it, the build I'm using, if you want to know, is this one right here. So take a picture if you need to. But it's not just the weapon that makes the player, but also the build. The build more than the weapon, in my opinion. But this is the one I recommend you using. And it's not a silent build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather them all up. And then we're going to slay them. We're going to slay them like a monster slayer. Come on, ghouls. Come on. You want to you wanna join the party? I have chocolate chip cookies. Bring it on. I actually, I actually really don't have them. But don't let them know that. It's going to piss them off even more. Come on. Come on, ghouls. And this is an amazing place to grind for XP if you didn't know that already. Because all you gotta do is run around, gather them all, and wait for them to attack. And here we go. So we're gonna do, you know, just your, your light attack. Not bad. A little bit of one hit. A little bit of one hit. Are we gonna one hit him? Nah, I can't really tell. Then we're gonna heavy attack. The heavy attack is where this weapon shines. As you can see, 1,235. We can also do it in VATS, and in VATS, we have that lovely explosion, which is a part of one of my legendary perks. But this weapon is destroying them. This is insane. But they are ghouls. Ghouls are always squishy. So, let me just murder him, and then we'll test it out on the super mutants. Oh. What'd you get for me? Nice. Now, on to the super mutants. And now we made our way over to the West Tech Research Center, and that is because there is a ton of super mutants over here. And I heard they've been doing some dipping. And we can't have that happen here. So, with that being said, let's go find some super mutants. Oh, super mutant. Oh, there he is. One hit. Two hits. Not bad. Oh, there's a the dog. And I decided to do this test inside instead of outside because, well, of course, they are higher level on the inside always. And, you know, I like it more in here now. It feels... I feel... I feel secluded, and I feel safe in my own little world in this place. Plus, I need some toxic goo. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. So, I'm doing a solid, probably like two hits to kill like a level 100 super mutant, which is not bad at all. At all. Again, this is not going to be the best power fist in the world, but this is a very unique legendary one. And it is easy to get. So for all the people that are beginners and, you know, don't have all the rarest items in the world, this is a great beginner weapon or a great weapon to even start with. This is not even a beginner weapon. This one you can use just whenever, in my opinion. Like, I'm personally using it just because of skin on it, and I love it, and I'm able to do that damage, so. It's awesome. And again, this is also an amazing place to get XP. If you have not came to West Tech and farmed XP here, you're insane. This is where you get the most amount of XP. Plus, this place is now an instant. So every time you come in here, it's going to be stacked full of uh, super mutants. These little green Shrek looking dudes over here. This is a great place and it's pretty huge. So yeah, make sure you come and stop by West Tech, guys. 
But this did, um, in my opinion, shred through the super mutants. So let me kill him, and then we'll move on to a bigger target. Goodbye, super mutant! Shall I pray for him? Now we'll dance. On to the behemoth. And now we're a little bit south of Solomon's Pond, and that is because the super mutant behemoth, Leroy, is down there waiting on me. I let Leroy know I was coming with my power fist to, to punch him in the face, and he said, bring it on. He didn't tell me he was going to be snoozing like that, but that's okay. We're going to go wake him up. Oh, Leroy! Le yeah, no. Yeah, I thought I was going to do it, but I'm not. Bring it on, Leroy. Hole. And he's already... He's already almost dead. That is that is amazing. Again, this is a uh, do more damage with each consecutive hit to the same target. So the more we fight him, the better we're going to be doing. And as you've seen, guys, that just ripped right through Leroy. Poor guy. Poor guy. I'm going to take the rocks on your back, and now let's move on to the Myler Queen. And now we made our way over to the Spruce Knob Lake, and that is because the Queen Bug herself is staring right at me. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous for this one, just because uh, My Lurk Queen and a Bloody Bill do not mix, especially in uh, close combat, but we'll see what happens. Bring it on, My Lurk Queen. I'm going in fast. You, you know, you got to be quick. You got to be dodgy. You got to be dodgy. Be doing circles around her. I ain't scared of you, you monster. Got to watch my rats. That's the biggest problem with her. She's going to get my rats down, and then she's going to whack me as hard as she can. But the more hits I do on her... <laughs> the more damage I do. So we need to get her little buggies away from me. Uh-oh, we're actually doing really good damage. And with this not being a bloody build, we don't necessarily have to be low health. It just it just helps with our nerve rage. You know what I'm saying? I will say I do recommend uh, you using this on Vats against her rather than uh, going fist to fist because she's pretty freaking strong. But she's not as strong as the face breaker. I don't even think I broke her face. I broke her legs. But... I will break your face. Guys, this is the Face Breaker review. It's a freaking amazing weapon, so make sure you're either grinding the daily ops or obtaining it through the Knight's Penance. But if you enjoyed the Fallout 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. And guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.